Did you guys grow up with money? Like, your dad was Kardashian, the lawyer. Robert Kardashian. Yeah. Robert Kardashian, who died of cancer, right? Mm -hmm. um, he was a very famous attorney, represented OJ. OJ and all that yeah. stuff. Your dad was a well-off guy, right? Yeah, we. I mean, we grew up in Beverly Hills. We definitely had a really privil privileged life. But my dad was extremely strict. We all had to, you know, get jobs. We, we knew at 18 we had to be out of the house. We had to pay for everything. Out of the house at 18? Was it he, traumatic? Was it traumatic for you when? We did. Let me take you back a bunch <laughs> of years. When your dad was alive, your mom was good friends with Nicole, OJ's wife. Yes. And the week before Nicole was murdered. You guys actually went away on a vacation with her, right? Yeah, every uh, spring break we would go to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. So. And Nicole was beautiful and a nice person, right? Yeah, incredibly yeah. sweet. Right. I was actually best friends with Sydney Simpson, her their daughter. Are you still in touch with Sydney? No. I um, feel like she like kind of dropped off the like this blew her mind so bad that I feel like she's like gone somewhere. I mean, I don't know where she lives. I heard or... she's doing really well. I think um, she moved and went to college. I think in Boston. Um, we speak to her brothers, her two brothers. Right. And do you, we're, do you we're write her? Does anyone in touch with her from like friends from the past? No, not really. And what no. was that like? I mean, uh, here you were good friends with Nicole, and you, I guess you knew OJ killed her, and then your dad had to represent OJ. I think at the time, like, I just believed we were, me and my sister, Courtney, Chloe was a little bit younger, but Courtney and I just believed everything that my dad would do. Right. We were such daddy's girls because we felt like, you know, my mom had remarried so fast and it kind of broke my dad's heart and she moved on. So we just sided with my dad no matter what it was. Right. So at the beginning, my dad definitely did believe in OJ, did, couldn't believe that his best friend would do that. Um, so you think he mom, really believed that he was innocent? Yeah, for a he, long yeah. time. Right. And then, um, so we always were at my dad's house, and there was, you know, Bob Shapiro and Johnny Cochran, and they're having all these meetings, and we'd go there. You would then, go to the meetings, and OJ would be well, there. Well, it was and at stuff? my dad's house, so okay. everyone was like just the there Bronco to chase happened out. from my dad's house, like right. all that stuff. Like it was, we were very much in the heart of it all. Was OJ at your house a lot, even like planning his defense, or well, was he OJ in jail? Was in he was yeah. in custody, right? Yeah, they didn't yeah. release him, yeah. right? But okay, so yeah. Before he was, he was staying at our house, and yeah. then we'd go right. to my mom's house where Faye Resnick was living, and she was really close to the Brown family. So we'd hear one thing, and you know, it was uh, very divided. OJ, and then going to my dad's house, and it was all pro OJ, and we're like, wait, what do we believe? And so we right, because your mom's probably sitting there going, "That's my best friend," and OJ killed my best friend, and now my ex-husband's. You're defending him, and and you guys are caught in the middle in a, in a sense during this whole thing, saying, "Gee, who's right? Who's I know telling for, the truth?" I know for us as kids, it was very hard. Like, f like for me personally, I just felt like w if I was at my mom's, I couldn't really talk about my dad. If I was at my dad's, I couldn't talk about my mom. Now, right. like after the OJ trial was done, they became best friends, and my mom and my my dad and my stepdad played golf together and it was fine but during the trial it was awful for us kids so when oj was found innocent your dad was happy and your mom was miserable i think at the end like know. if you notice like i your dad kind of removed himself after a while yes he, he kind of looked shocked yeah. yeah when they read the verdict we were all just kind of like oj looked shocked yeah oj no one was more shocked than oj believe me <laughs> after the trial your dad and oj had a falling out right I think so. He kind of kept it away from us. I mean, that was like Uncle OJ, and we'd see him all the time. So after that, I remember the day he got out of jail, I went to his house with my dad and, you know, said hi to him. And then after that, I don't think we saw him again. I think they had a falling out.